Hey, what is up guys? Spartan X Productions here, and today I am bringing you my first ever mock. Or at least, I consider it to be a mock. I don't have very many pieces. Well, I love how I say that. Just, just look at that box. Um, but I don't have very many kind of useful pieces as such, like a grey 2x4s or so on. So I decided to make a mini kind of sort one. Now, you all have to forgive that it says Audi there on the back, but he was originally one of my Audi drivers for my Audi team, and I decided that he'd look really good in SWAT, um, or not mini SWAT team. So, first of all, let's just start off with the two main figures. So let's just turn these guys around. Okay. If I take down his SWAT shield, as you can see, they both have Star Wars heads. He is, he comes from one of the, I believe it's an Imperial set, uh, with the Stormtroopers in which you get that head. And he is just your general clone trooper, Stormtrooper head now. Okay, so in the red guy, we have just general black markings there. Your general Star Wars sniper with a tiny little grip there. And a knife. Now this combat knife is not Lego. It is from Brick Arms, I believe. So it is not official Lego, although it does work as a great accessory, and I think it, that would just look really good on him. Although this guy is not my favourite character. Let's just turn him around. My favourite character, however, is this guy. Fully clad in black with blue markings around him. SWAT shield, silencer, and a fully black helmet. Oh my gosh. In my opinion, he looks brilliant. Now I'm just trying to find some of my extra black visors. Because I think black visors look would look brilliant on these two figures. Especially the guy fully clad in black. Now these two are both SWAT officers. Or, um, or SWAT members, however you want to say it. And they are working on a drug bust. Now, I know that's very typical, but as you can see there... See that package? Drugs. Oh, it's... What does that have in it? Let me have a look. It has... No, it has two Lone Ranger pistols. So, definitely not drugs. So maybe it could be a weapons raid. Yeah, let's place that back there. So that is the uh, good side as such. Both of them are just really nice, and they're placed in a way to look as if they've been fighting, or, well, they are fighting. So their face like that. Down here, we have a dead guy. Now, if you remember from my Fallout 4 mini series, he is one of our Fallout 4 figures. He's pretty small, but he works well. And yes, I do just want to point out, I like to use Halo Mega Bloks weapons. Now, I know some of you think that that's sacrilege or so on, but I just think they look brilliant for what I'm trying to get at, uh, for kind of modern warfare style. So you will see that. Uh, as I go on, that there are more Halo weapons. Okay, now, if we turn this mock around, it is a 32 by 32 grey base plate. So, there we go. I don't have a proper recording thing yet, like a table or lights or a black background or so on, or a white background. I don't know why it said black background. But, um, yeah, alright, so here's the bad side. I went to Legoland a couple of months back, um, and I got this set here, the Lego City. It, it won't fit in frame, but it's the Lego City repair shot or something. Um, but I might do a review on that later. Uh, anyway, when I went to Legoland, I got three, um, custom figures, and I decided to make them into Octane drivers. So, hence the three Octan people. So, this guy is holding a... Oh, the love of me, I can never remember the name of this Halo Mega Box weapon. But I just think it looks good, and it's silenced. It comes from a Halo 3 ODST. And it's good, it's got S on the back for Sierra. Um, and I will explain why the others have S's on their back. It was originally uh, their racing number, well, racing letter... But, well, now they're against SWAT. 
sorry that this video doesn't really seem high quality, um, and that I'm not one of the best YouTubers, I'm definitely not one of the best YouTubers, but I'm having to try and do with what I've got as such, because my parents are splitting up at the moment, so it's kind of working between two places, so I've got some of my Lego figures at my mum's, which is why when you see the black, no not the black, the wooden style of stage, one of my dad's, you can see that I've got a piece of paper there, with books and Lego and Lego and Lego blocks and Lego and it, it's just kind of really hard to do stuff at the moment but I'm trying as best as I can anyway we then have this guy who was also one of my uh, Fallout 4 guys Raiders yep and he's holding a mega box shotgun inside like that he has a old Indiana Jones set torso and a geonosis warrior bottom now this guy here is another octane driver with a magnum just looking as if he's been shot and the last not the last guy but this guy he's just shooting at them and his legs are in such an angle so that he's kind of pointing diagonally against them now the last guy is this guy he comes with a homemade rocket launcher. I love how I say homemade. He comes with a rocket launcher. And I have no idea where this stuff came from. Well, I know it came out of my box. But I know no idea what sets it came from. But he just, if I can maneuver the camera and the figure back into its place. He just sits up there. Okay. So, overall, I definitely thought I could have done better if I had what I wanted. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.